Since 2012, adventure bikes are dominating the motorcycle industry as they are tagged as the biggest selling bikes. The appeal of this bike is across the board, from the teenagers who are just started riding, to female riders, to male riders that are going back to riding, to seasoned riders, and the list goes on and on. Riders have been realizing that one can enjoy the performance of a sports bike in a not too aggressive stance, can be used on any terrain, and without sacrificing comfortability. As the name suggests, adventure bikes are versatile motorcycles that are built for all terrains which gives the ride unlimited two-wheel freedom. In 2020, the Chinese industrial giant Lonsin Motor Company Limited entered the market of adventure bikes by releasing their own model which has a tagline of Spark Your Dream. I am Music and this is the Voge 500 DS. Good day guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we start this review, we would like to thank Sir Bobby Bayon and Sir Arthur Banya of Woge Motorcycle Philippines for lending us this bike so we can get the most out of this review. In this video, we're going to review a bike from one of the upcoming motorcycle brands here in the Philippines, the Voge 500 DS. I'm pretty excited with this bike because even hindi it's not tight chairman yung looks ng adventure bike, I'm certain that she will enjoy it once it's on to. We're going to take an in-depth look and score this bike based on the following categories. Looks, engine and performance, tech, reliability, maintenance and accessories, and value for money. We'll score each category with stars and we will give our verdict sa dulo. So without further ado, let's start the review. Number one is the looks. This bike is a sports touring adventure bike which means we should expect that this is a tall bike, capable of carrying top boxes and side panniers. It has a very aggressive and sporty look na may big shape front with side fairing cover for aerodynamics. This bike comes with a built-in rear alloy top box carrier that can also serve as grab rails and back ride, a very solid crash guard, and a hard plastic na skid plate. So dito pa lang sa mga kasamang accessories na to, eh sobrang sulit ka na kasi less gastos ka na sa accessories pagkalabas mo ng bike sa dealership. Siguro in my estimate, makakatipid ka ng mga around 10 to 15,000 dahil dito. It has three color options available in the market, the gray, the red, and the black. This bike has a height of 1,390mm, length of 2,170mm, wheelbase of 1,460mm, and a ground clearance of 185mm. Weight of this bike is just 188kg, magan siya kaya madali lang isingit-singit sa mga traffic. So kahit na beginner rider ka and jumping to big bikes agad, hindi ka mahihirapan gamitin ito sa city traffic. In terms of my personal preference naman sa aesthetic ng bike, I wish mas malapad yung harap niya. Maybe it was intended na patulis talaga yung harap for that sporty look and more turn angle, pero I wish mas makapal pa siya ng kaunte since it is an adventure bike. Another thing is I wish that the shocks are black para magmatch sa looks ng bike. I'm not saying that silver shocks are not good kasi even the Ducati bikes are using silver shocks, pero I prefer a blacked out shocks. And lastly, I hope na sa loob yung adjuster ng windshield kasi medyo off siya sa harap and it will be easier for the rider to adjust it na hindi na siya bababa ng bike. These are just my personal preferences sa look ng bike and you guys may have a different view on the aesthetics. The tank is made of hard plastic so baka mahirapan kayo maglagay ng magnetic tank bags though pwede dito yung mga tank bags na may flange pero kailangan nyo lang maghanap na mag-fit na flange. Sa mga riders naman na mahilig mag-tail tidy, baka challenge din sa inyo itong bike na to dahil yung mismong susian ng backride seat ay nakakabit sa rear fender niya. Pero being an adventure bike, I don't think naman na you will prefer to have a tail tidy kasi tatalsik talaga yung putik sa likod. In terms of the comfort naman, super comfortable nitong bike na to sa mga long rides. This is just the perfect bike na dadali mo papuntang Sagada, Vigan, La Union, at sa kung saan malayong lugar mo maisipan. It has a super relaxed upright riding position at hindi sisigaw yung likod mo at nang backride mo sa biyahe. And if I'm to own one, siguro I will have the windshield tinted kasi may tendency yung mga plastic na mag-yellow pag nagtagal. I would also siguro install auxiliary lights 
and install top box and side panniers for that extra space along rides. So for the looks, I would give this bike 4 stars. Number 2 is engine and performance. This bike has a 471cc liquid-cooled, 4-stroke, 2-cylinder, parallel twin engine, fuel injected, dual overhead cams, 6-speed transmission that produces peak power of 46.2 horsepower at 8,500 rpm and 42.5 newton meters of torque at 7,000 rpm. Ang documented top speed ng bike na to is 160 km per hour pero with the correct mods and easy Yuri map, I think it can reach more than that. In front is yung aggressive headlight niya with the adjustable windscreen, my 41mm KYB inverted fork, my dual disc brake with Bosch ABS, my Nissan caliper brakes, and front tire na may size na 120 by 70 by 17 Stock tire nga pala nito is Pirelli Angel GT na, so solid na agad. Sa kita naman ay may napakalaking fuel tank that holds up to 17 liters of fuel which will be enough for a 500 km road trip due to the low fuel consumption nitong bike na to. Fuel consumption ng bike na to is around 28 km per liter which is very good for city driving and long rides. My carbon steel frame na nagpagaan lalo sa bike and you will see na malapad and makapal yung seats nito being an adventure bike. Sa likod ay may sobrang ganda na aggressive looking tail light, kayaba shocks, may single disc with ABS, Nissan caliper, and gulong na may size na 160 by 60 by 17. Stock rear tire niya is Pirelli Angel GT din, and kung gusto mo ng mas malapat na gulong, I believe pwede mo siya lagyan ng hanggang 180 using the stock rims. Seat height is 815mm, I'm 5'9 and ganito ang itsura pag nakasakay. And of course, hindi pwedeng mawala yung sound check ng exhaust ng bike. So, pakinggan natin. So, for the engine and performance, I would give this bike 4.5 stars. For number 3, Punta naman tayo sa tech. Ang instrument panel nitong bike na to ay isa sa pinakakompleto sa information na nakita ko. Its TFT display shows the speedometer, fuel gauge, RPM gauge, time, battery voltmeter, odometer, average fuel consumption, coolant temperature, and it even comes with a USB charging socket. So, san ka pa? At ang unique sa bike na ito is that it has its own tire pressure monitor. What? And the color of the TFT panel is adopted based on the environment. Wala na, finish na. All lights ng bike na ito ay LED na din. It doesn't have traction control or riding modes which is usually naman na makikita lang sa higher CC bikes. But this bike is equipped with Bosch ABS harap at likod at Bosch EFI. So sa napakadaming tech features itong bike na ito, I will give it 5 stars. Number 4 is Reliability Voge is the high-end subsidiary brand of Lonsin Motorcycles. Kung titignan mo yung logo nila, it has three stripes which represents their concept of aggressiveness and freedom. Yung triangle naman sa baba, it symbolizes the stability of their brand. At kung nagaanin lang at pa din kayo sa brand to, here is another fact. Since 2005, they have been supplying engines for the BMW G650GS. And in 2015, they entered into a new agreement for the manufacturing of the 350cc maxi scooters ng BMW up until ngayon. All of this happened before entering a new long-term partnership with MV Augusto in 2019 for them to release an all-new lineup of motorcycles that ranges from 350cc to 1000cc. This is a testament sa quality ng bikes ng Lonsin Motorcycles dahil pati yung German and Italian brands ay nagtitiwala sa kanila. Pero syempre, we still have that caveat that the name should be steady in the market for quite some time. Pero yung Voge 500R, which is basically the same bike as the DS, but different look, is a Philippine looper bike so alam mong reliable tong bike na to sa pangmatagalan na biyahe. Hopefully, masabak ito sa Boss Ironman Challenge and I would love to be the rider of this bike. Paging Sir Bobby, Sir Arthur. Uh, will you please repeat it? So for this, I would give this bike 4 stars. 
I will just leave that one star kasi nga kakastart lang ng Butch brand dito sa Pilipinas. And next category natin is maintenance and accessories. As of the moment, Voj Motorcycle Philippines has only one dealership here in the Philippines which is located at 8th Avenue in Caloocan. However, they have a partner in Visayas and Mindanao which will cater this bike soon. There is also a plan to open one additional store in North Luzon and another one in South Luzon this year. If you are that owner na mas gusto sa kasa pinapagawa yung bike like me and you live within or nearby Metro Manila, madali lang pumunta sa dealership. Pero kung hindi accessible yung NCR sa location mo, that is where you may have a challenge. The engine of this bike is somehow similar doon sa Honda CB500X and sa mga 500cc ng Bristol. So my guess, pero don't quote me on this one, is papasok yung mga engine parts ng Honda CB500X dito sa engine nito. And kung tama yung hula ko, mas madali kayo makakita ng parts nito. Voge has 2 years of warranty sa bikes nila pero gaya na ibang dealers, it will be voided kapag tinanggal mo yung catalytic ng bike. If you are living far from Metro Manila, you can call them and order parts and accessories and they can arrange a delivery for you. And if you are interested naman to install top boxes and side panniers, kahit yung nabibili sa mga stores na may universal brackets ay pwede kasi mababa lang yung mafler nitong bike na to, di na niya kailangan ng pasadyang bracket. The brand is relatively new here in the Philippines and baka mahirapan kayo humanap ng accessories sa mga physical stores. Pero dito papasok yung Shopee and Lazada para tulungan kayo. Sabihin mo lang, salamat Shopee! I actually have friends na merong Voge Motorcycles na nakabili ng mga accessories nila sa Shopee and Lazada. So for this, I would give this bike 3 stars. And number 6, of course, the value for money. SRP of this bike is 342,000 pesos. Pero if you pay by cash, you'll get a discount of 5,000 pesos. If you're planning naman to have a financing scheme for this bike, they're also offering an in-house financing then and here are the details. Wala pa silang available bank financing as of the moment, pero partnership with some banks are in the works. So my suggestion is to get a cash loan na lang para you can buy this bike in cash and then get the cash discount from the price of the bike and save on the encumbrance fee. This bike is also the cheapest among its competitors. And for the price, you cannot argue that you are not getting the most out of your money. So you are getting a very trusted engine by big brands, a very solid body, super high-tech na features, at sobrang pogi managers. Guapo! Guapo ka rin! Este, bike. So for this category, I would give this bike 5 stars. So recap lang tayo sa rating na binigay natin. So for the looks, we gave 4 stars. For the engine and performance, we gave 4.5 stars. For the tech, we gave 5 stars. For the reliability, we gave 4 stars. For maintenance and accessories, we gave 3 stars. And for the value for money, we gave 5 stars. And with that, our final verdict sa bike na to is 4.25 stars. I would say that this bike is perfect for riders na kailangan ng mataas na bike for seater riding, gustong dumaan sa expressways, hanap ay very comfortable bike sa long rides, at gustong magkaroon ng option for malaking top box and side panniers. And yet, at a lower cost. Siguro, if I were to buy a second bike, Wag mong subukan! Masisira ang buhay mo. This may be one of my top choices if I'm going for an adventure bike. It may not be a looker for some people, but I really like the looks, performance, and the tech of this bike. And before we end the video, of course, shoutout muna tayo. Shoutout sa future father-in-law ng brother ko na si Tito Omigalan, kay Vincent Pascual at John Moises Mendoza ng Bureau of Immigration, kay HyperXB Planet, at sa pinakagwapo at pinakamagaling na mekaniko ng Voge Motorcycle Philippines na si Eric De La Cruz. At kung may mga tanong pa kayo sa Voge 500DS or sa ibang bike ng Voge, you can check their Facebook page, Voge Motorcycle Philippines, or visit their showroom sa 8th Avenue, Caloocan City, at hanapin nyo lang yung dalawang gwapong managers nila na si Sir Bobby Bayon at si Sir Arthur Ubanya. At kung may napulot kayo sa video na to, may dalawang button sa ibaba para pindutin. Pakilike yung video and hit the subscribe button para updated kayo sa mga latest uploads. So kita kita lang tayo sa next vlog natin. This has been Music signing off. Stay safe, ride safe, and God bless.